welcome back to the channel so today is the day it is friday 10 o'clock i just got done painting uh my flip car that i needed to paint get this wheel out of the way there goes the air compressor as always as soon as you go to film something something's always going to make noise so we're going to try to stick this in there i don't know if it's going to fit our tape measure says inches inches of clearance to get it in there and not take the sprinkler system out at the top of the paint booth because the sprinkler heads hang down low so mike stood up there while i held the tape measure so it looks like we got a couple inches so it's gonna be tight but we're gonna try to get this thing in here before this rain moves in and then i'm gonna run to the paint store grab some paint and i'm gonna show y'all how to spray single spray your single with single ah show y'all how to spray your trailer with single stage this weekend All right, Old Faithful got it in, so we had to get the Duramax to kind of jackknife it and manpower it in there through all the bumps. Uh, this has a little inch and seven eighths ball on it, trailers two and what is it, five sixteenths. Um, so I didn't really want to be maneuvering with the wrong size ball. I don't mind pulling straight in and out with the wrong size ball because the trailer is so tongue heavy, it's obviously not gonna come up. But I didn't want to go through this dip with the wrong size ball trying to jackknife it with the Colorado, um, just because of that. So we barely, have it but we do have it so i'm gonna go ahead and prep this thing out and get this thing all scotch brighted down so it can be drying out and then i am going to skate out of here go get some paint and then probably come back tonight and mask this thing up and paint it so it is going to be tight it'll only be half of it in the booth uh but at least we'll still be able to turn the booth on uh maybe keep shop doors closed turn the booth on so it's still pulling all the paint into the booth and that way there's not paint going all over everything outside. So we got our work cut out. This is gonna be fun. Let's get at it. All right, so what we're going to do tonight, try and get this thing painted. We don't have a lot of room. This thing is going to be a tight one to get done. I feel like I'm gonna have to mask the booth off as much as I have to mask off the freaking trailer because it is so tight to the booth that I feel like we're going to get paint all over the ceiling, all over the walls. Oh man, this is gonna be a fun night, y'all. We are gonna be busy. All right, so we're gonna get this guy painted finally. I mean, look at this. We are close to everything. I don't think we're gonna paint that. I think we're gonna leave a lot of that black. I think we'll go back and paint the trim black. But we're gonna get this baby painted. So we're gonna do a couple things. I never finalized the electrical box on the side. Uh, there's no power to it, obviously. The trailer's not plugged in. So we're gonna go ahead and pull that off so we don't have to mask that up. And then we'll come back and finalize what we're gonna do with that. But that way we get paint behind it. I think we're not gonna mask up the trim. I think we're gonna initially blast everything with paint and then come back and trim out stuff um, in black. We'll mask off our bars, our door bars, because we don't want to get paint on them and we don't want to paint them. We're gonna blast all of the top with paint. Man, dude, this is gonna get all over the ceiling. And I do not feel like masking the ceiling up. You can see over here yellow from where I did a movie studio job. <sighs> yellow paint on the ceiling. We had the box truck actually masked to the ceiling. But we're gonna take all these bars off. We're not gonna, or not gonna take them off, we're gonna tape them. I don't feel like taking this stuff off. We'll take off our little bumps because they are just Phillips screws and we need to actually add some screws real fast to this side because as you can see i didn't do it we have some holes that we missed that we need to see if i got some seam sealer here real fast and get that done and honestly i wanted to put seam sealer between here 
and rivet this shut. Um, but I don't know if I have enough. So if I don't have enough, then I'm not really super worried about it. I could put double side tape right there. I don't know. I'm not worried about it. If anything, I'll rivet it later. But we need to get some seam sealer in like these holes or something. Let's see what we got. And we're just gonna blast everything with paint. Dude, this is gonna be so hard to paint. I mean, look at the room I have. So here's my hand. Like I can touch the trailer, I can touch the wall. Like there's like no room here. So this is gonna be really fun to paint, but at least we are in the booth. So the filters will be sucking the paint out of here versus, uh, we gotta pull this out as a flip car, versus just doing it out here in the open and then just floating all over the place. So if y'all were doing this yourself at your house, you'd probably just be painting it in your yard. That's fine. The only problem that you gotta deal with that is bugs. Uh, I had originally talked about pulling it in here and just backing it up to the lift and doing it in this whole side over here and having all these cars out of here. And, you know, we just put fans and just kind of roll it out of here like we used to do way back in the day. But then you still got to deal with overspray on stuff. So since I do have a paint booth and it does slightly fit in there, uh, I figured why not, you know, put it in a booth. We got the fire suppression system up there. So set over so probably 80% of the trailer is in there and um the booth will definitely keep all of the paint inside that way it's going through the filters and not just out in the open to uh keep my fire marshal friends happy uh, whenever they watch my channel um and if y'all fire marshals are watching you need to make sure you subscribe so like comment subscribe right now and order a t-shirt order one of the firefighter t-shirts that, uh, that we got on the channel in the store so let's get this thing masked up Let's get some of this stuff taken off. We're not going to take everything off, but I think we'll take stuff like this little guy off because I don't know if we're going to keep it. Lights we're not undoing because uh, I know I'm keeping them. Um, we're not straightening out none of this metal right now. We just have to get this thing together. Y'all know that's getting headers done and we really have to get this trailer together uh, for the most part. That way we can still, uh, you know, use it because uh, I know what's going to happen. We're going to get this comment back. Dude, I have a list of things to do on that comment. And what's going to happen is all of a sudden we're going to need to put that thing in the trailer and we're not going to have the trailer done. And I'm not riding around with it half blue, half white, half black, half tan on the back. Like we need to get this thing one color. And then what we can do is next weekend, if I don't have time Sunday, is uh, we'll go back and rattle can, you know, some of the trim black. We'll finish out the trim because I'm not putting the trim on it yet that I need the rest of it because that's more I have to tape. So instead of taping, like I said, we're just going to paint it and then we'll go back over it with black. But uh, that's less that I have to go back over because then I could do the trim off the trailer, the stuff that I'm adding to it. So I just want to get this done. That way also when it goes to the house or when it's going down the road, it looks like it's all in one piece. And it doesn't look like an IEA salvage title, $450 trailer like y'all have seen on the channel. Let's get at it. And I'll show you what we're painting All right, with. so we got this thing halfway masked up. I'm not masking the booth up. We're just gonna have to deal with the consequences. Let's pray to God that we don't get it too bad all over everything. I just wanna go home, y'all. I want this over with. I want this done. Um, I, I rushed through the masking because I didn't even want to do it. <sighs> Look, I missed the light down there. So let me grab roll tape. <laughs> Man, I just wanna go home, y'all. I'm so sick of all these big projects. Um, we mask this light up. And then I'll show y'all what we were painting. I do this stuff all week and then have to come back on the weekends and do it. And I just, I'm over it. I took the cam bar off this one because the bolts were easy to get to from the inside. And I took the box up, take the wires off. Left the cam bars on here because they're just, they're not as easy to uh, get out. Left all them on because they were really tight. They squished the piss out of the plywood. And I actually had to use like a jack to push the plate against the door with the door folded down, blah, blah, blah. So don't want to take them out. Uh, tail lights could have took out. Actually, no, they're double side taped on. I think uh, the foam backing is double side taped on. So we don't want to take them out. Uh, the holes in the trailer, I was going to use seam sealer, but it didn't look good. So I just put some rivets in it, fill in the holes. So we'll paint over it. Hopefully the rivets will look just like everything else. I'm missing a screw there. We're going to have to go back through and probably put a couple screws in and dab the screw heads to match. Uh, I went to fill in these gashes with some seam sealer and it didn't look good. So then I took paint thinner and wiped most of it off. I think we're going to put like a, a PTC converter sticker here or a TKM sticker or something to cover that up. I need to really try to get this off real fast. I don't even know if that'll come off. Uh, see, I planned, I had all these big plans for this trailer to sand all this stuff smooth. Man, I'm just freaking, y'all, we're ready to go race. 
right y'all uh, we taped up the light bar we're just gonna blast everything dude we're gonna freaking blast everything and then like i said we'll go back at the house run one strip of tape under the molding like a two inch and then hold a piece of cardboard and then just rattle can out all the trim so i did go ahead and mask the door because i don't want it turning into a uh, paint peeling nightmare and all them little cracks and everything so we did mask that off but besides that we're gonna blast everything else y'all and uh then we'll go back and paint over it i don't know if we're gonna paint this black because this diamond plate's so tore up we really need to take off this piece and take this piece off and hit up southern metals for some uh diamond plate and redo them pieces so they're not all collapsed in i went ahead and put some seam sealer over these places because the metal is actually cracked that way we don't have rain going in there so not really going for looks on this anymore it's kind of over it ready to go racing y'all y'all said let's go racing let's go racing y'all all right product we're using boom alk 200 gray 911688 that's the color that we're going with this trailer so this color black trim should look pretty killer along with some of the silver trim and aluminum trim that we have left over uh, we're using the five star extreme 5108 uh, wet look hardener so this is what we paid for it at my local ncs there is the alk gray a gallon 60 dollars per gallon y'all 121 dollars for two so that's this paint right here is amazing this is basically equipment tractor paint this is what we do movie studio work with uh, it's single stage, but it's a cheaper single stage made for trailers, equipment, just cheap single stage, but it is, um, it's durable. It's good stuff. So the wet look hardener right here, uh, let's come across as $35 each, bringing a total to $69. So, uh, these little cans are $35. Whereas this whole gallon is $60. So you're definitely paying more for the hardener. Everything else is just, uh, shop supplies, paint thinner, $59 for a five gallons of paint thinner, one that big. So not bad. Let's get this mixed up. This is going to mix 16 to one, 16 parts paint, one part hardener. If you don't want an extremely glossy uh, shine, we want a gloss shine to make this trailer look kind of more high end because the trim will go with like a satin black or like a bumper paint black against the gloss is what we want. So this mixes eight to one. So if you want gloss, you'll mix it eight to one. If you don't want it quite as glossy, then you'll mix it 16 to one. What that does is the hardener is where your uh, wet look comes from, you know, your gloss. So the less hardener you put in it, um, it's not gonna be as glossy. So 16 to one, if you just want normal, I guess, equipment paint shine, you know, like a satin or semi-gloss, probably a semi-gloss would be a 16 to one. Eight to one is gonna be a high gloss. That's what we want, eight to one let's mix it let's shoot it i'm gonna put y'all on the time lapse uh not gonna make y'all sick with the gopro uh we're just gonna time lapse this thing out sections at a time we'll start at the front probably work our way in and then we'll check this thing out when we're done i do not have a 16 to 1 or an 8 to 1 on my ratios i do have this big gallon pitcher uh, i think it's a gallon or almost a gallon but uh, i don't have ratios so you gotta do more math so uh, eight to one split in the middle would be four to 0.5. So we're going to go to our number three right here, which is going to be our four column. We have went over this in the other videos and then your one, if you were doing four to one would be that number three right there also. So, or you can match your one, 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 two, 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 uh, off of your ratio. Your numbers right here is your height. Uh, so if you go two with paint, then you would go two with hardener. If you were having this ratio, we don't need this ratio. We need an eight to one split eight down the middle. That's four split one down the uh middle that would be five since you split your eight you got to split your one so we need to go 0.5 right here so we're going to do a half right here and that's going to be the same ratio so instead of eight to one we're mixing it four to 0.5 that way it's the same as eight to one it's just mixed in smaller quantities so we'll mix this up get this in the gun um, if it all fits and then we'll mix another batch there's gonna be a lot of back and forth on this because I don't have nobody here to help me tonight normally when you're spraying single stage it's nice to have a buddy in here cleaning the cup um, remixing and getting you ready for the next pass but we got to do it all of ourselves so let's roll
Oh, buddy. Look at it around my eyes. That's from wearing the mask. So you should probably be wearing like a full paint suit where you actually have like, uh, you know, where it's all, where it covers, covers up your face and everything. Because as you can see right now, it's all over me. This is what my paint gun looks like. That is terrible. It never looks like that. We got it done. It's after midnight. It's going on 1230. Uh, I'm going to Piedmont tomorrow with Randy and John, meet them up there. I'm going to be out extremely late tomorrow night also. So I'm going to get this paint gun cleaned up. We're going to get to the house, shower, bed, hit the racetrack tomorrow. When we get this thing out on Sunday, I think it'll probably be Sunday. We'll then go over it and take a walk around it. Like, comment, subscribe, share. And I will catch y'all on the next video where we show this thing outside how it turned out. Thanks, y'all.